have got uh, Michael Mesner here. Now, he is famous around this country for, uh, for photography That's in right. the out of doors. Uh, if you've ever seen a Hallmark calendar, you've seen this guy's work. He's That's also done the Grand River right. Country Trails book mm -hmm. uh, that focuses on, uh, on the Grand River area. And he, he does beautiful uh, uh, personal photography as well. We're going to be chatting with him. Our next guest is a photographic artist who's been creating beautiful work for over 30 years right here in Kitchener. I know all of our viewers have seen some of his work because it appears on uh, Hallmark calendars as well. He's a great artist and it's a pleasure to have him on the show. His name's Michael Mesner. Michael, it's great to have you here. Thanks very much. I'm glad to hear that. Now, on the summertime shows, we've been dealing with a, a lot of things out of doors because, mm -hmm. it, because it is the summer. And I know that you spend a tremendous amount of time outside all across the nation, not just here in this region, but all across this beautiful nation of ours, uh, commemorating it uh, uh, with some lovely photography. What inspired you uh, uh, to go that way with, with uh, landscape photography? Well, when I was studying photography in the early years, I studied at Conestoga College with uh, Corinne DeConis and Vela Makima and uh, Hans Bussey and uh, I, I studied the work of Ansel Adams, and uh, he was one of my great mentors. I really loved to study his work, and I wanted to pursue the, that type of photography, but in color. I preferred to use color, as Ansel's work was mostly in black and white, and I wanted to try and bring the zone system and a lot of his techniques into color photography, using large format film and doing my own processing and keeping control of the process from start to finish so that I could basically measure the light of the scene and uh, get everything I could onto the film so that I'd get the tonal range, the bright whites and the deep shadows and uh, try and get brilliant colors and uh, that's what I tried to do. And when I was working in Newfoundland, I realized that the fishery was going to be gone. Their way of life was changing so drastically and a lot of the docks and uh, a lot of the, the villages and things were going to be gone and uh, that's happened now. The fishery is pretty well dead in Newfoundland and a lot of the places. The last time I was there photographing one of the docks that I photographed first in 71. It used to be a beautiful wooden dock. It was very rustic, made out of uh, branches, trees, and uh, rough lumber. And now it's all cement and iron, and it doesn't look anything like it did, you know? So I think it's very good that I, I got that both in black and white and in color, and I'll be able to pass that on to future generations. It's sort of a historic thing. Well, that's the great thing about photographic art, is it, pres it preserves the moment and it can never be, never be recaptured again. It's never quite the same. Uh, I know we have some examples of your work that we'd like to put up on the screen, and if you could walk us through them, it'd be a great benefit. Now, this I'm must be uh, from Newfoundland. Mm, it must be, but it's not. That's uh, Peggy's Cove in uh, Nova Scotia, oh, I believe. Beautiful. And those are some of the, the old fishing sheds and uh, a couple boats. This, I, I'm sure this is one of the Hallmark calendar shots, and it, it's Peggy's Cove. I photographed that on 4 by 5 transparency. So then the transparency is actually four inches by five inches, and I use a spot meter when I take the pictures to measure maybe the white of a cloud or the, mm -hmm. the brightest white in the scene when you're doing a transparency because you don't want the whites to uh, wash out. So you measure the white and then drop the exposure two and a half stops back from what you're reading there. Well, you mentioned the white, but just looking at that photograph, when I see the, like the, the old uh, uh, York boat lying up on the rocks, it, it almost looks like dinosaur bones. Like it's very white and, 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 and bleached out. Really? Yeah. And it's, it's, quite a, it's quite reminiscent. Well, I, I was watching a program earlier on diving, and I've done some scuba diving and the wreck diving, and that I've always found the, the wreck boats very uh, unusual and uh, mystical underwater. You know, I found that to be something interesting. Well, let's take a look at uh, another photo. Okay, this is Per Se and uh, along the Gas Bay. And this is a tremendous hill to climb. I remember I was uh, having a bit of uh, a challenge coming up that hill and stopping there because uh, we were parked on the hill in order to get the shot of the village and the Pierce Rock there. That's beautiful. Well, I know you've had many adventures uh, all over the country, haven't you? Uh, you traveled about in your Volvo. Yeah, I've got 480,000 or 490,000 clicks on my Volvo right now, and it's still treating me pretty good. We went once on a 34-day camping trip up to Alaska, and uh, in the Yukon, we were in Kluwani Game Park, and I was six feet away from a grizzly bear. And uh, <laughs> I got a head and shoulders portrait of him with my 135 millimeter lens. Oh, terrific. <laughs> it was uh, a real wake-up call, I'll tell you. <laughs> well, let's, let's take a look at a, uh, another one of Michael's photos. Now this is uh, uh, 
in Port Franks. It's, I was on another yacht just like this one. Mm -hmm. Actually, this photograph has somehow gotten uh, inverted because the boat should be going uh, the other direction, but that doesn't really matter. I was on the deck of another yacht exactly like that one, shooting with a 50 millimeter f1.0 lens at uh, 15th of a second. That's a Kodachrome transparency. And what I've done with that is projected the transparency onto architectural vellum mm -hmm. and then re-photographed it through pin glass, which is like the kind of glass you would put in a washroom or somewhere to obscure vision. And by adjusting the distance between the pin glass and the vellum, that's what gives the effect, the sort of uh, pointillism that's there. And it has a beautiful watercolor effect yeah, to it. I really enjoy it. Yeah, it's sort of a Monet kind of thing. Well, we've got one more photo uh, uh, to look at. Let's uh, take a take a peek at that. Well, this is the cover of the trail guide. Now this was the best fall that we had in 88 years and I took pictures in Algonquin Park in Maine, Vermont and uh, Ricker Park and uh, the best photograph I got was uh, a couple miles from my house which was the, absolutely the best fall. I heard on the news that it was the, the most colorful fall in 88 years because of the dryness that we experienced that year. Well that's uh, just off the Grand River isn't it? It is. Uh, it's, and uh, so I guess just off the Blair Road by the Grand River? Yeah. That's what I'm guessing. Well, I went down Wilson Avenue. It's uh, right at the end, end of Wilson Avenue where it stops in the middle of the park, and it's the overlooking the river there. Well, M Michael, I know your, your photographs celebrate uh, the out of doors, and uh, they're available for people to use as, as photo decor. I know a mm -hmm. lot of corporations and whatnot uh, are using the photos in our nation's beauty, uh, but uh, individuals as well, and you always recommend that to people. Yeah, I like to preserve the family's history. You know, it's nice to have pictures of our ancestors and uh, to pass along to future generations so that we can preserve our memories from today for future generations. Uh, when someone passes away in our family, it's hard to remember even after six months or a year, so it's nice to have a photograph. It brings a tremendous comfort to people in the future. Well, it's a terrific way to celebrate uh, uh, someone's life who's very close to you, or to uh, get some of your photo decor uh, work to uh, celebrate uh, this beautiful nation of ours. And I congratulate you on that, Michael. It's excellent work. Thanks very much. Well, it was a pleasure having you on the show. I know a lot of you will be interested in contacting Michael. Please do so by dialing the following number that you see right on the screen. It is, of course, 579 1683, or you can visit Michael Mesner on the web at www.artistic photo, what is that thing? Hyphen, yeah. photo dash dot com. 